What is up you beautiful bastards? My name is Slazo and I am back with another Reddit video. You guys seem to enjoy these. They're fun to make, so let's just get back with another one. In today's video, I'm going to be doing I am very smart. Now this subreddit is just all the Rick and Morty fans in the one place. You have to have a very, very high IQ to understand the subreddit. So let's see if we get it. Okay, our first one here is from our boy Anision. We all love him. I will literally block you for being dumb. Doesn't sound so bad. Take an IQ test. If it's low, don't tweet. Ever. Especially hilarious because this dude owes like 300 grand in back taxes because he claimed everything he owned as a business expense and refused to hire a tax professional, instead using TurboTax and filing everything himself. And then he showed up on legal advice asking how to sue TurboTax. What a genius. What a genius. As you can see, Onision is well beyond us low IQ'd life forms. We are, we, we should all bow to him. The announcement here is don't post the Rick and Morty meme or anything by Neil deGrasse Tyson. They must have been spammed with that Rick and Morty meme, I tell you. What's something you own that you hate? Intelligence. I have quite a few of it seems like it. But no one in the goddamn society seems to appreciate it. Yeah, let's send another Snapchat message. Gets exponentially mad. First, that's not what exponentially means, and Snapchat is inherently dumb. No one smart can ever use Snapchat. Um, this guy said it. Okay, okay, now top of all time, let's see what we've got. My partner for a chemistry project is the walking embodiment of this sub. Let's see. So you're doing most of the research, right? Actually, I was hoping to construct the PowerPoint after all. We never discussed it in class. I'm pretty sure we did. I mean, if you're really adamant about doing the PowerPoint project, I can do the research. It's no big deal. Not trying to be pushy, but yes, I am pretty adamant about it. But I would be willing to come to terms with you if you really wanted to do the PowerPoint, because it does take a certain amount of intelligence to conduct the research. Lol? What do you mean? Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare. I'm saying that I would understand if you would feel more comfortable leaving the research to someone slightly more intelligent than yourself. And by the way, it's laughing out loud. Using ridiculous slang acronyms like that is not helping your case. Yeah, this guy has friends. That's so pretentious. Like, Im imagine typing laughing out loud instead of lol because it makes you look smarter. How do I explain I'm intelligent without getting to the front page of I am very smart? Already failed that, buddy. My intelligence is the focal point of my life. Is it? It is the cause of and solution to most of my problems I have on a daily basis. But whenever I talk about them, I'm always chastised for bringing up the fact that I am smarter than average, even though I am. How do I do it without coming across as a pretentious twat. Like, if you're actually intelligent, then you don't need to go around talking about it. Like, why do you need everyone to know? I can fit more words in one sentence than a college professor can in half an hour. Okay, okay, so there's this meme, this iPhone X, iPhone Y, you know, X, Y coordinates, and then that moment when your meme is so intelligent, half of the guys don't get it. Whoa. No. No, everyone gets it, buddy, okay? It's it's not that. Oh, yeah, yeah, X and Y coordinates? Your brain has to be spilling out your ears for you to understand that. For some reason, it's acceptable for people to point out that I have no sense of humor, but unacceptable for me to point out that they're actually way too dumb to understand my dry wit. Like, if everyone thinks you're unfunny, then maybe it's not their fault for not receiving the humor right. Maybe you should rethink your humor. Okay, so the next one begins with just this meme, right? It's the pillar's one meter. We get it. Makes you realize that the pillar is one meter wide and then causes you to calculate the volume of the pillar, then the strength of the pillar, then combine the weight of all the floors above, then using that to estimate the number of people in the building. You did not do that. No, you didn't. Shut up. You shouldn't even be allowed on the computer, let alone on Facebook all day, if you're 16 and still don't know the difference between there, there, and there. Seen that like six times today, if you're 16. So close. Other people, YOLO, 
Me, copy-pasted Latin. If none of you peasants know what this means, it's taken from a Latin ode and translates to Seize the day, put very little trust in tomorrow. Yes, you peasants. That, that, that is how you make friends. Is it just me, or does laughter feel too much like showing weakness? Probably just a thinker, thinking. Some feeler chuckles at a meme. Me, an intellectual, you fool. I have a STEM degree. My sibling went to a school to become a graphic artist. Me, six-figure salary. Sibling eventually joined ARMY to pay off student loans after failure to find work as a graphic artist. Hated it, now works in a warehouse. What kind of knob do you have to be to compare yourself with a sibling like that on Reddit? Even doing that against a co-worker or a peer or just a rival is a bit dickish. But your own brother or sister whom you were raised with, the furthest you can see is just how much you make. You're a dickhead, mate. Normal person. How does a combination lock work? Googles it. Me. How does a combination lock work? Assembles tools and breaks nearest one. Tools like a corkscrew, and maybe a pocket knife. And what's wrong with Googling something? Like it's the quickest, easiest way to find something out. But nah, just break open the lock and try to figure out how the little pieces piss off. What's your take on AGI and the singularity? Um, I don't know what that means, lol. Oh, my bad. And then he explains what the singularity is. Just goes to show that being a software engineer does not necessarily indicate high IQ or a well thought out worldview. I, I beg your pardon? Judging how smart someone is based on if they know something or not is just the worst way to judge it. Just full stop. That's why at school they try to teach you and then they give you a test to see how well you can apply it. They don't just give you the test and go, hope you've been doing your reading, kid. Or <laughs> Alex Jones. I love him. I came up with a symbol to illustrate you. I, I can't do it. I came up with a symbol to illustrate humankind transcending the synthetic VR being pulled over our collective souls. It's just a scribble. It's just a scribble on some paper. He came up with it. It's it's by design, guys. Girl demolishes one kilogram burrito in just 95 seconds. Not impressive at all. If she could read a book about philosophy in 95 seconds, I would be impressed. This is just idiotic. I mean, yeah, it's stupid, but it is kind of impressive, isn't it? Like a kilogram burrito in 95 seconds. Usain Bolt mate, running the fastest 100 meter sprint. Not, not impressive, okay? If you could summarize Rick and Morty in that time, that would be impressive. But, uh, uh not impressive, buddy. Give it up. Okay, this one's on Omegle. Hey, hey, how are you doing? It's, how are you doing? It's trying to be friendly. There's no reason to be patronizing. You shouldn't call yourself it. It's kind of self-degrading. But then again, I'm sensing some flaws in the mind and personality. Literally, all he did was say, how are you doing? Instead of, how are you doing? It's just a bit more casual. We are only human on a dying planet, circling an inferno of gas in a speck of dust, circling an object of which we almost cannot even comprehend nor really figure out in the vast area we call space. Do you think we matter? That's deep. Can you match my intelligence? I doubt it. Rick and Morty, new season coming this summer. I like how they have to proclaim their own thought as being deep. Okay, okay, I've nearly had enough of this, but I'll just find one more good one. I use this to help with my homework. Fourth grade is a toughie. A cute little a cute little comment. Nice to read. Fourth grade is tough? Ha! I needed this laugh. Just wait until you get to your junior year of college, kiddo. That's the most dickheadish comment I've ever read. Holy shit. Like, imagine feeling the need to condescend a fourth grader on how hard their schoolwork is. It might be the most childish and petty thing I've ever seen. Anyway, guys, that'll about do this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would, go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you. Also, my patrons over on Patreon, they're good boys. Be like them. If you want to donate, that would be incredible. But at the same time, if you don't have the money, just subscribing, liking, and all that would be amazing. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>